So now I introduce the woman that needs no introduction to this group. Um, Kay Granger has been a U.S. Congresswoman since 1997. Before that, she served three terms as the mayor of this fine city of Fort Worth. There's no greater friend of this region than Kay Granger. Her support of this region and support of economic development is unquestioned and is evidenced by the fact she's here today. When she's got plenty to do in Washington, she chose to be with us this morning. So thank you, Kay. Thank you. Thank you for that. Most, most importantly, congratulations. Congratulations to the employees of the companies that, that are represented here in, in this wonderful announcement. It is a great announcement. You know, I don't go anywhere that people don't tell me how bad it is and how, how worried they are. Uh, and it is bad, and we're worried. But what we can do is really exemplified right here in this announcement today. And, and what we have to do is be innovative, be forward-looking, and step out there and get it done. The, talk, the, uh, the employers, the companies we're talking about today, Encore and Falcon Steel and Nucor, that's what they've done. And as, as David mentioned, you know, Encore looked everywhere. Didn't just look in Texas, didn't just look in the United States, looked internationally and came back to who can do it right here in Texas, uh, right here in our community. Um, it's also a huge step forward in energy independence. Uh, and we've talked about this so many times, and it's so important, the key role we have in building the renewable energy superhighway. But what, and you're gonna get to ask questions in a minute from people who really know what we're talking about, but we're talking about providing steel for the towers. But it's also, it's steel that's been used before and we take that and we say, we're gonna use that again and make it work for more jobs, more Texans and more uh, Americans. We are competitive. There is no doubt about it. We are competitive. We've got a great work ethic. We believe in the future. But we also have to be innovative and step forward out of this fear um, of the future and say, okay, we've had it tough before, and we have, particularly right here in this community in Texas. We've had it tough before, and what did we do? We diversified, we brought in new jobs, we kept the business this, that, that have worked so hard to stay in business and move Texas ahead. So I am very pleased. I'm always pleased to be here instead of Washington, but I am particularly pleased to be here today. Thank you very much, Bob, and thank you very much, David.